Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, and today I'll be reading Tohanari X Listener by me. So let's get into it. We never really expected to fight with Tohanari. After all, he was the most patient boyfriend you've ever had. And that's not to say you actually had a relationship before him. But you may or may not have come close to that. It doesn't matter now. What matters? is that Tanari was the best boyfriend you could have ever had, and you knew that, you were sure of that. And most of all, you communicated very clearly. And, so far, there weren't any really big issues in your relationship. The both of you felt secure in it, and you felt happy. And that's all you really needed, to have Tanari by your side. And you're so easily able to feel his love from the way he's so affectionate. It's something that both of you love. The affection and the intimacy, that it's easy for the two of you. That's why, you honestly felt like you were blessed. Like this was the most ideal relationship that anyone could wish for. And right now, you just had to have it all. But, little did you know, that very soon, problems would arise. And a very big problem may even ruin your relationship altogether. You and Tanari were having a fight. And that was fine. Fights and arguments, they were bound to happen. But it seemed like things were getting out of hand. Tanari wanted to go to a trip, to Snejanaya. But he already knew what the doctor would do if he saw him. The doctor doesn't like him. And most of all, though you did not adapt his strings, even though you knew he was strong, you just couldn't do this. You couldn't let him go. The doctor was dangerous. And Tanari, even if he was a good fighter, he's a botanist, most of all. So this just seems like a bad idea from the very start. Tanari, I don't agree to this. Can't you see? He could kill you for all I know. He's crazy. You're better off staying here and sending off anyone else to do your research. And just get the results. And what about them? What if something happens to that person? There'll be a death on my conscience. Well, it's likely they won't target them. They will target you because the doctor knows you. Don't you get it? He had yelled out. Well, Tanner, he only scowled at you. He didn't like the way you were phrasing things. And he certainly didn't like the way that he seemed to ignore his own wants. And the fact that he was very stubborn when it came to this. He was very firm about this. He didn't want anyone else to go instead of him. That would be just a coward's way out. And Tanari was not a coward. And most of all, he wouldn't be able to send anyone else there without feeling guilt and worrying for them until he got back. And that seems like a million times more dreadful for him. Tanari. Please, I'm asking you at least do this for me. I can't let you go like that. Can't you understand? What would you feel if you sent me out there? Hmm? If you sent me to Snejnaya, wouldn't you feel horrible? That's why I would never do it. Then that's why I'm asking you not to go there. Please. He had cried then, but Tanari wasn't listening. And even worse... It seemed like everything you were saying had fallen deaf ears. And he was unwilling to listen anymore. He had stormed up and gone to his room. And you were now stuck with your own thoughts and your own feelings that were very much going to be ignored. That's why he had called someone from the academia, General Mahmoud Rasaino. You had told him that... Tanari is very sick and can't go on this mission. And he had taken your word for it, and even contacted some others, to tell them that they need to find a replacement for Tanari. And Tanari found this out, to a degree you never even knew could be possible. Wyan, I want you to answer me. Did you do this? Did you lie to them? Tanari, please, you have to listen to me. I can explain. You said, feeling yourself tremble. You knew this was your fault, and you knew 
You should have ultimately not done anything like that. But still, it was for his own good, and he thought he would be able to understand. But as he tried to go up to him, to place a hand on his shoulder and calm him down, he had slapped you. And suddenly, the world seemed to stop in your own eyes, as you put a hand to your cheek that was now red with a mark. You were looking at him, staring with wide eyes, in disbelief, while Tanneri stared back at you, with his own eyes wide as well. It seemed like the two of you were completely in disbelief of what happened, still registering the situation and what had just occurred. He had hit you. Tanneri, the person you loved and trusted most, had hurt you. And that... That stung more than anything else in the world. And soon enough, you were crying. And Tonnery had reached out to you. Wyan, please. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I really didn't. He had said, reaching out to hold your hand. When you had pushed him away, crying. Don't. Don't touch me. Do you even get what you did right now? I trusted you. I know we did something very bad. I know I made a mess. But who gives you the right to hurt me? You had said. And Tanari was speechless. Because he knew he was in the wrong. He knew he shouldn't have escalated things to this degree. And he knew. That no matter what happened. He should have never hurt you. This was the one line. That should have never crossed no matter what. And now that he's crossed it, he has no idea what to do, or how to justify it. How to ask for a second chance, when he knows he doesn't deserve one. That's how he saw you leave. Take some things that you would wear for a couple days, and go to your friend's house. Throughout this entire time, he had felt immense guilt. Before Sino had talked to him, and probably explained what you were feeling. Trying to guess why you would do this. And told him to go apologize. And after a couple of days, you woke up to Delnari bowing in front of your door, with flowers in his hands, begging you to forgive him, and just give him one more chance. And he'd even told you that he would cancel the trip. He would listen to you after this. He would do anything you want. Just one chance. And you won't let go of it. He won't let go of you again. Because to him, you were the most beautiful flower that he was tasked to protect.